G'day, Edward Fox back with another story for you. This one uh, is one of my favorites. It's written by the author Banjo Patterson, who's a well-known Australian poet and writer from the late 1800s, early 1900s. And this one's called Clancy of the Overflow. Clancy of the Overflow by Banjo Patterson. I had written him a letter, which I had, for want of better knowledge, set to where I met him down the Lachlan years ago. He was shearing when I knew him, so I sent the letter to him, just on spec, addressed as follows, Clancy of the Overflow. And an answer came directed in a writing unexpected, and I think the same was written with a thumbnail dipped in tar. Twas his shearing mate who wrote it, and verbatim I will quote it, Clancy's gone to Queensland droving, and we don't know where he are. In my wild, erratic, fancy visions come to me of Clancy gone a-droven down the Cooper where the western drovers go. As the stock are slowly stringing, Clancy rides up behind them singing, for the driver's life has pleasures that the townsfolk never know. And the bush hath friends to meet him, and their kindly voices greet him, in the murmur of the breezes and the river on its bars. And he sees the vision splendid of the sunlit plains extended, and at night, the wondrous glory of the everlasting stars. I'm sitting in my dingy little office where a stingy ray of sunlight struggles feebly down between the houses tall, and the fetid air and gritty of the dusty, dirty city through the open window floating spreads its foulness over all. And in place of lowing cattle, I can hear the fiendish rattle of the tramways and the buses making hurry down the street. And the language uninviting of the gutter children fighting comes fitfully and faintfully through the ceaseless tramp of feet. And the hurrying people daunt me and their pallid faces haunt me as they shoulder one another in their rush and nervous haste with their eager eyes and greedy and their stunted forms and weedy. For townsfolk have no time to grow. They have no time to waste. And I somehow rather fancy that I'd like to change with Clancy, like to take a turn at droving where the seasons come and go, while he faced the round eternal of the cash book in the journal. But I doubt he'd suit the office, Clancy of the Overflow. So that was written in the Bulletin magazine in Australia in uh, December of 80, 1889. Uh, so I think there's still some stuff that can apply to us today. I'll just go over a couple of terms. Droving is like a, on a cattle ranch. So if you're droving in Australia, you're driving the cattle on. So uh, droving. Um, if you've got any other questions, you can hit me up in the comments and I'll answer them as we go. But I'm, I'm going to do a whole series on Banjo Patterson. He's got some great poems, The Man from Iron Bark and uh, uh, The Man from Snowy River. Uh, which are really good. The Man from Snowy River was turned into a movie in 1982, 84, something like that with Burt Lancaster and a, and a few others. Um, so uh, be on the lookout for them. Until then, have a great day.